Hey, I'm Kier, and this is that vlog thing that I'm doing. Earlier today in my Facebook feed, uh, an article from last June surfaced for some reason. Uh, it's an article from the Pew Research Center, uh, and it's uh, titled Generation X, America's Neglected Middle Child. Uh, and, and it has a lot of interesting uh, data points in it, as stuff from Pew always does, uh, about how we, and I am most certainly Generation X, uh, fits between the baby boomers and the millennials. Uh, how our mix of uh, wants and needs and attitudes is pretty much a uh, straight line between where the baby boomers are and where the millennials are, or, you know, opposite that, depending on the topic. That's all good and fine. I like a lot of what's in the article. Uh, but there is one piece that I really kind of take issue with, and part of it's hinted at in the, uh, in the title, that whole neglected middle child uh, idea. One of the things it says in the article is that uh, Generation X has trouble defining itself. We don't have the same easily defining characteristics that the baby boomers and the millennials have. Uh, and it cites in the article one reason uh, Xers have trouble defining their own generational persona could be that they've rarely been doted on by the media. Generation X rarely doted on by the media? Uh, maybe lately, but I seem to remember growing up in the middle of Generation X uh, that pretty much all of the media was about us. We are the MTV generation. We are the first internet generation. We were there when the web started. We made it. We are the Brat Pack generation. All those 80s movies? Yeah, that was targeted directly at us. Everything that people think about when they think Southern California happened because of Generation X and our really weird fascination with uh, malls. That's all a Gen X thing, uh, and that's very much a Gen X thing. The media doesn't need to dote on us. We are the media. <laughs> We've been the media. We made the media what it is today, for better or worse. All of this nostalgia marketing that's going on now, all of these things that are reboots and remakes uh, that are coming out, are reboots and remakes of things that were popular when I was a teenager. If that's not somehow uh, doting on Generation X, I really don't know what is. Now, the issue may be that these things are being molded and twisted and squeezed and uh, bent to target the millennials, um, but it's still based on the stuff that was originally made to target us. And as far as us not being able to define ourselves, well, that's because we learned relatively uh, early on that being defined in any concrete way is really a bad thing because that locks you into things. And if there's one thing that Generation X knows is that when you get promised something, you better not expect it. We were promised all sorts of things uh, by our parents, the baby boomers, and reality has yet to deliver on most of them, at least not in the way that we were told to expect them. We're looking at a world where we're likely going to earn less than our parents. We have to work harder in order to provide ourselves with a lower level of safety, security, and stability 
than our parents got for the hard work they put into stuff. And the millennials, well, I don't think they've quite caught on yet in a lot of cases to how wildly unstable things are these days, comparatively speaking. We're still infinitely better off than a lot of other places. And I should also make it very clear that anytime you're talking about these generational groups, what you're really talking about is, is you're talking about pretty much the white middle class portion of the population, the suburban white middle class population uh, at that. Because I can tell you that my black friends who uh, grew up in various cities around the world uh, or around the country did not have the same experience through the 80s that I had through the 80s. I think a quick search of news from the 80s will make that really clear. Uh, and also going back and watching all those classic Gen X movies and noticing the heavy lack of diversity, well, we kind of noticed that too while we were growing up, which is why we're more comfortable around uh, a, a diverse population than uh, the baby boomers are. Uh, and that's one of the other things that uh, comes out in this uh these survey results, is that, yeah, we're relatively comfortable in mixed groups of pretty much anything. And that's because we learned to be adaptable. We learned to fend for ourselves because as we were growing up, we saw the economy change and slip. And our parents, in order to maintain their middle class dream and provide for us the best they can uh, and how they wanted to, they had to work extra hours. They had to take on extra jobs. They had to do stuff that left us alone, usually with the TV, uh, in order to give us the life they wanted for us. And I give a lot of, uh, you know, baby boomer parents credit. They did a really solid job of bringing us up and uh, not worrying too much about us and working hard to attempt to provide for us. But there were also a lot of promises made by our parents' generation, made by the media that we grew up in, that told us that anything was possible, that told us the world was only going to get better, and then it didn't. It did in some ways, but overall, the world has changed a lot. And it's Gen X that is out there right now with our heads down and noses to the grindstone, uh, eschewing that wee bit of slacker identity that we had for a while in the uh, 80s and 90s. Uh, and we're out there doing what we need to do to make stuff work for us, and in some cases, our families. In some cases, our families includes our parents, because we all know that a whole lot of retirement funds mysteriously went away at the uh, last crash. So all the security and safety that the baby boomers worked for was kind of ripped from them uh, unceremoniously in uh, very questionable ways. And that's left the Gen Xers pretty darn sure that we can't count on anything other than what we know how to do ourselves. And that's why you don't hear a whole lot from us, why the media doesn't bother trying to target us anymore. Because we've already played that game. We've already become media savvy and media literate, and we know what advertising is. We grew up during the 80s when advertising was the biggest thing around. All the advertising problems that we're having now have their roots in the 80s when advertising and demographic research and target markets became a huge deal. So we know that. We lived through that. We grew up through that. We understand how it works on an intrinsic level, even if uh, we can't all articulate it. 
So to see an article that says that Gen X is annoyed because the media doesn't dote on us kind of misses the point of what reality is right now. And what reality is right now is Gen X is the generation that's holding stuff together as best we can. And we're working hard to do that. We're working hard to be self-sufficient because we can't let ourselves rely on anyone else. That's just how it is. We'd like to, but we look up at the baby boomers and we see people who did work hard who now, in a lot of cases, don't have anywhere near as much to show for it as they should. We look at ourselves and we see how hard we've worked and how comparatively little we have for the amount of work we've put in. And then we look down at the millennials and we just shake our heads and think about what sort of stuff they will still have to go through. And we envy their ability to remain childlike and to remain optimistic and hopeful because we gave in to our cynicism a long time ago and it served us relatively well. So we're not looking to be doted on by the media. What we're looking for is to survive. It's what we've done and sometimes we even manage to thrive. But we don't need the media's attention to do that. We've had all the media attention we need. We are the media. We're the media generation. If you're part of Gen X, give me a comment down there. Let me know how you feel about demographic research like this, how you feel about being Gen X, and whether you think you need to be catered to by the media. Uh, if uh, you like anything I have to say, give me a thumbs up right down there. If you're subscribed, thanks for subscribing. And if you're not subscribed, subscribe so you get notified of these things when I put them out. Uh, Going to be every day for another 50 days, give or take. And uh, if you have anyone out there who's part of any of those three generations, Generation X, the Millennials, or the Baby Boomers, who has an opinion on how all these three generations interact, share this with them so they can get involved in the conversation down below. I'm Kier. That's it for today. Guess I'll see you tomorrow.